So, you recorded a video on your smartphone and now it is time to edit it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an easy step-by-step -step process for how to edit videos on your smartphone. Hey there, my name is Pamela Bassa and welcome to my channel. I'm the founder of The Lucrative Lady and on this channel, I bring you tips, tricks, hacks and tutorials for how to grow your business online and increase your revenue. So, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel, turning on your bell, giving it a like so that more people can see these videos and of course this channel can grow. I would really, really appreciate it. So this video that you're watching is part of a five video series where I'm walking you through how to use your smartphone to record a YouTube video, edit a YouTube video, create thumbnails, upload the video directly to YouTube and of course a bonus uh, tutorial for how to create YouTube videos without showing your face. So make sure you catch all of the videos in the series. I'm going to link down the bottom to all of them so that you can watch them all. So to help me with this video, I actually have uh, my amazing uh, team member, one of my right hand women, Valentina, who's going to be walking you through how to use a simple app for free on your phone to edit your videos. So go ahead and take it away, Valentina. Yeah, let me quickly show you how to edit your video using your smartphone and using the app called InShot. It's free to download and you can find it on your app store or your Google store. The first thing you want to do is click here on video, then click on new, select the video you want to edit. And now because we are using the free version, the InShot logo will appear here in the bottom of the video. You want to click on it and click on free remove. An ad will appear and you just need to watch it for a few seconds and then the logo will disappear if you don't want to buy a pro version. Then the next thing you want to do is click here on canvas and edit the canvas size. Let's select 16.9, click on OK and that's it. Now there's a lot of things you can do here. You can add the text. Let's add Pam's Instagram handle for example. Add Pam Obasa. You can change the color of text. You can change the background of text. You can remove background. Uh, I will use this one. Okay, click on OK. Reduce the size a bit and move it to the place I want to appear. Now let's add a sticker. I want to add a Instagram handle and I have already pre uploaded it to the app. So click here on gallery. And if you, do, if you want to upload something, just click here on this plus button, but I already have it here, so I will just select it, click on it, reduce the size, and I will place it just next to the Instagram handle. Now you can select how long you want it to appear on your screen. You can make it appear for the a whole length of video by just simply dragging it to reduce the land, same for the text, and when you put it where you want it to be, just click on save. The next thing you can do is you can click on this red plus button and add your intro. So just click here on video or photo and select the intro from the gallery and it will automatically edit before the video. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, so the intro is added before the video. I want to move this because I want to cut the first few minutes of the video and I will, I will show you how to do it. So, just click here on pre-cut and you have the several options. You can trim, cut and split your video. I want to trim the first few seconds of the video, ok, I selected it and just click on save. So let's see how it looks now. And so forth, you know, so I can... Ok, I'm quite happy how it looks. The same way you can cut the end of the video and you can upload the outro the same way you have uploaded your intro. 
you, you have several options here. You can add the music, you can add the sound effects, you can select from the, from the music that's already there, or you can upload your own music. And when your editing is done, you just click here on Save, select the resolution, then again click on Save, and your video will be downloaded to your device. Man, that was so simple and easy to do. Anybody can do that. So thank you so much for that, Valentina. So now you are ready to upload your video on YouTube. How amazing does that feel? Comment below and let me know what is your YouTube channel about, if you already have a channel, and if you're just starting out, what is your YouTube channel going to be about? The second thing I want you to tell me below is what is your biggest struggle when it comes to creating video? Let me know, because you never know, I may create a specific specific video to answer your question and to help you out. So hooray, massive, massive well done. If you have joined me until the end of this video before I even share my bonus, which is part five, and I wanna say a massive, massive thank you. One of the biggest problems that I see when people wanna create content for YouTube or just video content in general is burnout. They burn out very quickly. And when I thought about this, because I did burn out at the beginning of my journey, I realized that the reason most people burn out is because they only have YouTube as their business right and the business of YouTube is brilliant but it takes a very very long time for you to actually start getting monetized and to start getting paid well like you see other people getting paid it takes a long time but what if you could monetize your expertise or your story and turn that into a business and then have YouTube supporting that instead what if you could do that well I want to invite you to my upcoming masterclass where that is exactly what I will be teaching you to do because if you can follow the path that I'm teaching you and monetize your expertise instead, you will start getting paid much sooner, way sooner than YouTube could ever pay you. So join me inside my masterclass where I'll be teaching you how to turn your story or expertise into a wildly successful and profitable coaching business without even having an audience. So if you have no audience, if you are afraid of tech, all of the overwhelm and all of that negative stuff, then you don't have that to worry about. I'm going to be showing you how to navigate all of that and still build a wildly successful coaching business. So click the link below this video and join me live in that masterclass. Now that we've covered that, let's dive into the Q&A and the tips and tricks section of this video. So before we go, I want to do a quick uh, tips and tricks and Q&A for this section. The first thing that I want to share with you is that there are loads of editing apps and softwares that you can use. Don't get bogged down with buying lots of expensive softwares. You don't need those. You can literally use some free apps on your phone. So on the iPhone, you can use InShot like we talked about. You can use iMovie like we've also talked about. If you're on Android, you can use the KindMaster app on Android as well. Very, very easy uh, apps to use with loads of features. These apps may have some paid components, but the free components are completely fine for you to use to edit your videos. Tip number two, if you are like me, then you might prefer to outsource the editing of your video. So go ahead and hop on websites such as Fiverr.com or Upwork to find people who are really good at editing, who will edit your videos. And then that's one less thing to have to think about. But if you do want to do this on your own, it is really, really easy to do and if you just follow the tutorial that we have just shared with you, you will be able to edit your videos. So now, before I round up, I want you to join me in my next tutorial where I'll be showing you how to upload a video directly from your phone to YouTube and all of the steps that you have to take, some of which some people aren't even aware of. So let's dive into that tutorial now. I'll see you there.